Whoever you are, come forth. From the beginning, I've always enjoyed life and lived out everything it has to offer. I've loved the sun, fun, clothes, girls, music, and being a mod. Nothing was going to stop me from tasting the sweets life has to offer. Until something stronger than my might planted itself down on my body and wiped away everything I had. My love for life was gone. Though I had vast memories of myself before the cancer, in the recesses of my head and in photos, living with cancer was like being a ghost. I was there in body, but not in mind and soul. All of a sudden, I had more friends and family than a person could count. I was on something like MySpace before MySpace even existed. Were they there for me or there because I got bitten by the plague? I didn't know and didn't really care. Any photos of me taken during that time, I cut them up, burned them, threw them away. I didn't want a reminder of myself with cancer or of the people who were around me during my treatment. Because if you looked at those photos today, yeah, you see Erzin, but that wasn't Erzin. I didn't digest anything the doctors said. The stages, the treatment, medicines, even the cancer seemed like a blur. My ambitions, my dreams, my pulse, they were non-existent. A ghost can't dream, can it? I come from a single parent family, so the financial strains and burden on my mother were enormous. Not having insurance made getting treated a pain. Getting put on a waiting list when you have something lethal is laughable. I think the biggest crime during my cancer years was what I knew of cancer and what people close to me knew about cancer. We didn't know about survivors. We only knew about pain and funerals. You can't walk into a doctor's office with those images in your mind and expect to make it through and survive. An example of someone surviving cancer, the way I did, would have helped me make it through with a smile on my face instead of turning into a ghost. I had skin cancer, and people told me I would never go out in the sun again. But in 2007, I went to the Grand Canyon. I'm glad I have my life back. These are the days that must happen to you.